Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number five in the command injection module titled Blind OS Command Injection Without a Band Data Exfiltration. All right, before we continue with the video, I'm happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by HackersAcademy.com. Hackers Academy is an online learning platform for individuals that are looking to become ethical hackers or security experts. It contains a of courses that cover a variety of topics like Wi-Fi cracking, privilege escalation for Windows and Linux, and introductory courses for how to get into pen testing. This video specifically is sponsored by the Hacking Fundamentals Bundle, which contains two amazing courses that teach you how to get into pen testing. The first one is the Hacking with Kali Linux course, which introduces you to the Kali Linux operating system. This was the perfect course to sponsor during the command injection module, because while we're solving the labs, you'll see me run Linux system commands like who am I, if config, nutstat, and so on. And if you're not familiar with Linux systems, then this is a great course to take to familiarize yourself with how Linux works and how to use the command line in Linux. The second course is the Hacking for Beginners course, which teaches you all the fundamentals you need to start pen testing. This starts off with fundamentals like networking basics and goes all the way to things like scanning the network, identifying vulnerabilities, and then learning how to exploit those vulnerabilities. These courses already have over 60,000 students enrolled in them with nothing but amazing feedback. So if you're interested in enrolling in the Hacking Fundamentals bundle, use the link on the screen or in the description of the video. The bundle is valued at $97, but as a special discount for our viewers, you can get it for less than $30, which is an amazing deal, so make sure to check them out. All right, enough about our sponsor, let's go back to talking about command injection. If you do not have an account on the Web Security Academy, you can get one by visiting the URL portswigger.net slash websecurity and clicking on the sign up button. I already have an account and I am logged in, so to access the exercise, I'm going to click on Academy, go down, select the learning path, go down, select command injection, and then go down one last time and select lab number five titled Blind OS Command Injection Without a Band Data Exfiltration. All right, let's get started. This lab contains a blind OS command injection vulnerability in the feedback function. The application executes a shell command containing the user supplied details. The command is executed asynchronously and has no effect on the application's response. It is not possible to redirect output into a location that you can access. However, you can trigger out of band interaction with an external domain. To solve the lab, execute the whoami command and exfiltrate the output via DNS query to burp collaborator. You will need to enter the name of the current user to complete the lab. All right, so this is similar to the previous lab with the exception that instead of just proving that it's vulnerable to a blind command injection, we're also exfiltrating data by running the whoami command and then outputting the name of the current user of the system. And we've got a note right over here from the Portswigger Academy telling us to prevent the Academy platform from being used to attack third parties. Our firewall blocks interactions between the labs and arbitrary external systems. To solve the lab, you must use Burp Collaborator's default public server, burpcollaborator.net. So unfortunately, we will need Burp Suite Professional in order to complete this lab because the Collaborator public server is not available in the Community Edition. So let's hit next and then start burp while that's loading. We'll access the lab. And it doesn't look like it clicked properly, so let's access it. And we're going to set the foxy proxy extension to send requests to burp. And then let's click on submit feedback. And you see over here, it gets intercepted in burp. So set intercept to off and then go to HTTP history and we'll see our requests over here. All right, let's submit a feedback form. So let's say the email is test at test.ca. The subject is test and then the message is test and then click on submit feedback. And you'll notice over here that it doesn't 
provide you with the content of the message that you submitted. It just says thank you for submitting feedback. And so if any of these fields is vulnerable to command injection, it won't be in band command injection where you actually get to output the response of the command on the page. Instead, it's going to be blind. And so you need to re resort to blind techniques in order to exploit uh, this command injection. So if we go over here and then send this to repeater, go back to repeater, and we'll bring this right over here. You'll see over here, it's the same request that we've been, it's the same application that we've been dealing with in the past couple of labs. And so we already know that the email field is vulnerable. Now let's first confirm that the email field is vulnerable to command injection. And then once we confirm that, we'll exploit it in order to exfiltrate data. So the first thing that we're going to do is what we did in the previous lab, which is write a query to perform an NS lookup on our collaborator domain. And to get a domain from collaborator, go to burp and then burp collaborator client, copy to clipboard, put it right over here, and then add the hash sign to comment out the rest of the command. And let's copy this, go back to burp, put it in right over here. Let's add a space and then control U to URL encode it. And before we send the request, let's put collaborator client right beside it so that we could see it in real time. Hit send and let's click on pull now. And you could see it performed a DNS query, which means that this is definitely vulnerable to blind command injection. Now the next step is to exfiltrate data using this technique and the way to do that is really similar. So we're just going to copy this entire thing and just add a command in here. So the way you could do that is using backticks or using the dollar sign and we'll, we'll do the dollar sign next. So let's say who am I and that's the command that we want to run which outputs the uh, current user of the system. So let's copy this. It should first perform an NS lookup. And then the second thing it's going to do is run the who am I command. So let's remove all of this and then add it right over here. Again, let's put a space over here and fix this. And select the whole thing, control U to URL encode it. And let's look up verb collaborator, hit send. And then pull now, and you'll see over here, it performed a DNS lookup and it outputted the response to the command that we ran, which is who am I? So if we copy this over here, that's the name of the user that is running on the system. Let's copy that and then go back to our lab, click on submit solution, hit OK. And here we go. We see congratulations, you solved the lab. So we successfully completed the exercise, but we, before we review what we performed, I promise that I'll show you the dollar sign way of doing this. So it's really similar. Again, instead of using backticks, all you would do is put a dollar sign, put it in brackets, and this is another way of running commands, but I believe this is the deprecated way of running commands if I'm not wrong. So let's copy this and confirm that it works. Again, let's remove our command injection over here and put a space. And we forgot to copy our hash sign. And then let's do control U to URL encode it. And before we run it, let's have burp collaborator right beside it. Hit send and then pull now. And we see another DNS lookup and you could see over here, it's outputting the content of the response from the who am I command. So we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting a blind command injection in order to exfiltrate data from the system. This completes the last lab in the command injection module. If you like the video, hit the subscribe and share button so that the video reaches a wider audience. Also make sure to check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.